Are you running into problems printing? Do you hit print and nothing happens? It could be that you have a job stuck in the print queue. This is Paul, one of the techs here at Micro Center, and today I'm going to show you how to go in, stop the spool process, clear out the spooler, restart the spool process, and then print. Let's get started. All right, to get started, first off, you want to make sure that it is, in fact, stuck in the print queue. So let's click on the Start button, go to Devices and Printers, uh, go to your default printer or whatever printer you printed to, right-click, select See What's Printing. All right, you'll see that there is, in fact, Job Not Printing. Okay, so the next step is to stop the spool process. Click on the Start button, go to Control Panel, Administrative Tools, Services. We want to scroll down to Print Spooler. We want to right click and stop that. Now click on the Start button, go to Computer, go to the C drive, the Windows directory, System 32, Cl double click on Spool, uh, click on Printers. All right, now we want to highlight both of these entries and hit the delete key. Uh, confirmation window will come up. Click on yes to delete those. Go ahead and close that. Now that we've deleted those jobs from the queue, go ahead and right click on that print spooler and click on start. Give that a moment to start the spooler. Then you can close your services window. Click on the start button, devices and printers. Right click on your printer, go to see what's printing and now you'll see there's there's no job stuck in the queue. So you should be able to pr print successfully, and if, and if you can't, then there's something else going on. It's not actually a job stuck in the spooler, but this does happen often. All right, that's how to clear a job from the print spooler. If you have any other questions, come visit us at www.microcentertech.com.